Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Blogs and guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and so also the opinion bank uh, new exclusivity will definitely be notified. So breaking news Louis King Kong Otis has accepted clearing the body snatchers white challenge. And of course, he's also willing to fight in the UK. Bro, if this fight happens, this is going to be a very big fight because, you know, there's this hype behind Ortiz that the underwater has, you know, kind of instilling there and saying that Ortiz is the boogeyman. Nobody wants to fight Ortiz and all that. And uh, there is a big story. The story with, with both of those guys, you know, behind, you know, behind... You know the back and forth you know stuff we know team white had, had gone in on team Ortiz in the past like it's crazy so let's take a look at what Ortiz um, manager said here um, uh, so Ortiz uh, according to Jimenez uh, Ortiz heard those rumors I guess Dillian was calling his name and other names and he reached to me and asked me, look, if that's true, I would like to step in the ring with him. That would be a great fight. I told him that I would find out. I think, yeah, that would be a great fight. Luis Ortiz would love to take that fight. I say January, February, Ortiz could be ready. I know Dillian White had that unfortunate loss and he was winning the fight. He got careless and he got caught. But that's the heavyweight. That's the heavyweight division. You can't afford any slippage. If that's possible to fight Dylan White in the UK, yes, we will go wherever the money is. The money is at. That would be a big fight. Yeah, of course it would be a big fight. I mean, I, I will pay the world this fight. Of course, I already have this one. I think this one we we tell if I said, but I don't my pay. I don't my pay the world this fight because there's like there's a, a big story, like a big story. Um, you know. We we're talking about both of these guys, and of course, Deontay Water, Deontay Water as well is also going to be kind of involved because he said oh, he is the boogeyman. What's the take on this, brother? Uh, Taj uh, <laughs> uh, um, you see, in a way, I'm happy, I'm actually happy, like, us is responding, but I don't trust us. Because it's easy to respond to them kind of thing. It is easy to respond. Because remember, last year, slash early this year, and the Ruiz replied, I'm on for the fight, right? When the negotiation was about to start, he does that. Right? So that's the reason why I'm going to say, I'm glad Otis is responding. But this is not the first time Otis is responding and still not taking. You know, so it would be a good matchup for both of them, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Because I believe the PBC sees Otis as the boogeyman. People in the UK as well sees um, Dillian as well as the boogeyman. So it's like, okay, two boogies banging at each other. See who comes out victorious and that. Right. But. It is going to be a good fight for both of them, but the thing there is, I do not trust Otis. I know Dillian is, doesn't mind risking. He doesn't mind putting himself at risk for fight. And that's one of the reasons why in the UK everyone rates Dillian and AJ, because they go in for risks in fact, risking their positions and everything. So the thing there is, I hope, because I'm not going to keep my hopes high now, I'm not going to lie to you, like, I hope when the time for negotiation comes, what is just don't blow up in the air. Because that's one thing is done. But this has had four three chances of fighting Dillian. One way or the other, I blame here. The fourth time Dillian was like, I'm not bothered, I'm not going into this. And that was the one Otis used as his weapon to say Dillian ducked it. But three different times you blew up in the air. Right? And I think that's one of the reasons why Dillian still have that in mind. But for me personally, the one person I thought was going to accept the challenge quicker was Deontay. I ain't going to lie to you. Because you called him up. 
and now it's listed. Now you didn't talk again. I don't know if you got what I'm saying. Well, the Deontay one, you can't really fault the guy because the Tyson Fury, you know, stuff is still there because he wants to avenge that loss. And they are in court what right now. So he can't just accept it. I don't think he can accept it like that. You know, until, he, until he knows what's up with Tyson Fury. No, so you all know, know Deontay for one thing. When you chat about Deontay or call him out one way or the other, he will respond back. He's done it several times. Bro, since, ever since Deontay got beat. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since it got beat, this guy has been mute like a mouse, more than a mouse. He's like, he's, he's like, I'm a I'm one of his words, you know. Like, so, the underwater is like, he's just mute. I mean, he's not I, as vocal. I, I, I miss, I miss that, 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 that the underwater do in being vocal. I know some people don't, don't like it, but it makes uh, the division exciting in a way, even though you talk a lot of. Um, yeah, I know it makes things exciting. Yeah. I miss, I miss it, I miss it though. I miss that, that side of the world as well. So when you lose it, yeah, it humbles you. Look at Pule. Before the fight, see the way he was talking. Since he lost, he's been quiet. Right? When you lose, when you chat shit a lot, when you just talk rubbish a lot, when you get beaten, like when you get beaten, like not beaten, when you get battered, yeah. You don't come out talking it. It humbles you. But when you, you see the way Dylan lost, this fight against Povekin, yeah. He's got a lot of courage to talk and do anything because why? Everyone knows he was winning all the round. He got careless. He became too overconfident. And the little blink he had, he lost it. He can still come running his mouth. But if we get battered, they will jump to go battered. He's difficult to come back to talk the way you've been talking before. But the truth is, I expect him to respond back, man, because You've called him out. You say you don't know why it's you, blah, 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 blah. And now he's called you. Said, what was the first name anyway? Right? Just like that. But no response. But the thing with what is he, like I said again, yeah, it's easy for us to say on this and that. And I believe Otis made this now because time is no longer on his side. Whatever amount he gets from this, even if we fight this one, this is going to be one of his biggest pay. Because that so far so good, Otis biggest pay was the second fight against Deontay, which was a million. So was a million dollars. If it's gonna be um Margaret Dillian now, it's gonna earn at least about five. Which would be sweet for him in there. So I just think you now, because to be honest, I think they need Dillian than Dillian need them. The only one person Dillian needs right now. It's perfect. But others now need Dillian than they need any other person. Because if they can beat Dillian, it raises their profile a lot higher. That's just it. So I hope Otis comes clean this time around and stick to his word. He done the same thing against AJ. Yes, I will take him and then, and then the time came, nothing, and they try, you know, lie about it and everything. And we all know how the story went. So I hope this time around it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be like, um, and they raise Dillian. That's it. I can't wait, bro. Like, I just hope everything go through because I'm tired of all these. Ga- like, I just wish they, 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 we can stop all these games that they play. Like all those games, like we could we we, we could have had the, the all this period already. Like uh, yesterday, I just sat there and I was just thinking about this scenario. I I I went through my videos, you know, more than one thousand plus videos I've done now. Like I went through my videos. I did a lot of videos about Joshua while the on this period. Oh my god, mm-hmm. I wasted all my time, bro. All my time wasted. Like. Like, I remember one time I did a video where Joshua said it was, the fight was going to happen. Like, Joshua was so confident. And uh, I think he did something with Pep Talk UK. Yeah. At that time, that guy at Pep Talk UK was not in the... I mean, he wasn't... He was didn't have a, a channel at that time, I guess. I, you know, he didn't have a channel at that time on YouTube. So I think uh, maybe he had it, but it wasn't really popular like that or something like that. So... I was I like yeah, I, I I watched it back. I was like, oh my god! Joshua was in the car with this guy saying, "What did Joshua will happen?" Like I was real happy. I remember when I went in. Oh my god, my time was wasted. I hope, I just hope that Fury does not play the same game. Team Fury don't play the same game because we know Joshua is serious about when he says something. He, he, he does it. You know, I I'm so happy that the financial agreement. Uh, of Joshua Fury is already is done, you know that that has been agreed because that's mainly the that was kind of the roadblock for Joshua Warren not happening, 
you know, 50 50, then okay, then you get it fired on because you want to become undisputed, then go for it. It's kind of crazy though. So, guys, stay blessed, Jungle Stumble, all the boxing governing body. Please stop all the politics. Let's get good fights on. Boxing is going to lose out if we don't get good fight, you know. Anyway, that's what it is. God bless you guys. Stay blessed.